What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about all over dye sublimation printing. So all over print, just like it sounds, is all over your entire shirt of print. There are two forms of all over print, however, one like I have on right now, you can see the print is on the front of the shirt, but not the back of the shirt. Let me show you another version. The second form of all over print is the print is on both sides of the shirt. It's also on the sleeves. So this is a seamless print. It's something called cut and sew. What cut and sew basically means is your shirt is not even a shirt yet. It's just pieces of fabric and then they take that and they print on that. I'll explain how they print on it and then they stitch it together. So let's talk about how they print with dye sublimation all over printing. We're just going to call it all over printing for the rest of this video because dye sublimation is a super long word, okay? All over print. Okay, so let's get into the actual printing process of an all over print. So with an all over print, it's a little bit unique, a little bit different, kind of like printing on paper actually, and you do print on a piece of paper. So when they print your shirt with an all over print, they're going to print it on a large sheet of paper, the entire shirt, kind of like a textile. So when they print out that textile, they then take that, put that over your actual shirt, put it in a machine, and that machine is going to apply heat and pressure to the design that's on top of your shirt, and it's going to transfer it directly into the shirt. Now, it's suggested that you print on 100% polyester because that's just how it is. If you apply it to a shirt that is not 100% polyester, your results won't be as vibrant, won't be as colorful, and that's what you want with an all-over print. The appeal is that vibrant, lush, almost print quality that you can get. All over prints have almost no limitation because you're taking the image itself and transferring it to the actual shirt. So now that you know the two variations of all over print, like I mentioned before, you have the print on the front and you have nothing on the back and then you have the cut and sew which has the front image and the back image and the sleeves, just everything printed and awesome and amazing. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Also, yes, I have another shirt on. I got so many, like there's more to come. Just get ready, there's more shirts to come. I mean, I have time today. Let's talk about the pros of all over printing. So all over printing, like I mentioned before, is almost limitless in the design phase. You can put literally anything on an all over print. You can do photos if you're a photographer or if you have taken some dope pictures and you wanna put them on a shirt, boom. If you're an artist, you do visuals, boom. If you wanna even have text go outside of where you would usually have it on a regular screen printed or direct to garment type of print, you can do that. All over print has literally no limitations. There's no small box that they have to print in because like I mentioned before, it's printed on a piece of paper and it's directly applied to the shirt. So that is pro number one. I have two more. Pro number two, I can't say this enough, unlimited colors. Like if you could just understand like how many times I've printed something and the colors have looked wrong, they've looked blotchy, they're not consistent, they're just crazy, they're faded. Oh, I got I got a video for y'all for that, for faded prints that I've done in the past. I'm about to just reveal everything to y'all. So the faded colors, not looking accurate, not looking vibrant, it just can kill your design. But with the all over print, you don't even have to worry about that. Your color choices are unlimited. Pro number three. Pro number three of all over prints is the longevity of the design. You're not gonna have the same amount of wear and tear that you would have with the screen print or a direct garment like I had mentioned before because you're not gonna have that color fading. It's gonna be actually applied into the shirt itself and your design is gonna last as long as you have the shirt. So we talked about all the positives. We mentioned all the good things. Let's talk about them cons. If you wanna get the full luster, if you wanna get the best colors, if you wanna get it very vibrant, you're gonna to have to do that with a 100% polyester. So polyester shirts may range a little bit different in price points, but to me, it is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. I hate negativity, y'all. So let's get into the last con of the all over print. So the last con of all over print is that you will have creases on your insides of your sleeves. Now this is gonna happen because you're gonna be laying the shirt flat down unless you do a cut and sew, which is gonna cost you way more. We're trying to just start here, okay? I'm trying to start, I'm not trying to suffer. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have money in the bank and not have zero money in dirt in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm eating dirt. I want to be able to eat food. You know what I'm saying? Like normal people. There's like a little white streak right there. Y'all see that? And then there also is another one, I think. That's a minor thing. It will happen when you do all over prints because you're printing on a shirt that has creases. Simple as that. 